on the previous episode. Those ain't big tits. And we continue to play our game. Dots. <laughs> Voice acting is still great. I can move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Where? Where? Where the fuck am I? I'm not at home, am I? Can't be. So dark, I can't barely see a thing. Can barely see a thing. Sorry. Is this the school? What's going on? What the fuck is this place? It's, it's really dark out there. Maybe I should check this room first. Yes, yes. Okay, let's search. Hello. Gasp. Is that Seiko? Seiko, Seiko. This isn't good. Let's go over here. Let's go out the door. I already know. Like, I know this, like, first chapter by heart. It's, like, ridiculous. <coughs> ah, God, my, my ankle. Ah. Oh, the pain! It really hurt! Shit! My ankle's in pretty bad shape. Sorry. Seiko! Seiko! I am saying it correctly. Fuck you, whoever thinks it's Psycho. Seiko. Thank god, this, she's still breathing. Seiko, come on. Seiko, wake up. Stop playing dead. Don't you what's up me? I thought you were dead. Hmm? Where... Where are we? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> it ain't budging. These windows are sealed out tight. It's pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of what I'm seeing. What the hell's going on? Oh, this is clearly a school building. Doesn't the desk seem unusually small to you, though? Like an elementary school? An elementary school? Can be, can it? What is it? A pronoun on the wall. It says Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Heavenly Host? Isn't that the elementary school that preceded Kashigari Academy? The one that was shut down and demolished? God, what's happening? Where the fuck are we? Where are our friends and Miss Yumi? Calm down, Zeko. Don't get so worked up. Everything's gonna be okay. We got this. Sorry. Seiko and I stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I've been shaking so hard. I could hear my teeth chatter become completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight. 
much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I kept telling myself it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, no matter how hard I wish for it. It just couldn't, it couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of it. I couldn't take it anymore, I had to say something, anything. I love you. Sorry. Okay, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But, how about we try finding a way out of here? A way out? We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't think they can open. Even... Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure, but there might be an entrance way or an emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside. You're right, and it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going to all loony in here if we keep this up. Okay, then first up is to leave this room. We've got to keep our spirits up. After all, it's probably not just the two of us in here. The others have to be around here somewhere, right? Yeah, and we can reunite with them. We'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. I had no reason to believe any of what I was just I just said. It's probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream, I'd be inconsolable. So in desperation in desperation I put on the strong front I could manage. Character introductions. Direct the ad toward any character and press the action key to learn more about him. I already know about all the characters, so this is all going to be you for your you viewing pleasure. Sachoki Mishida. Wow, I just butchered that name. Sachi. Sachi. Fuck. Sachi. Fuck. Wow. Um, Mishida, 17, student in Keshigari Academy Senior High Class 2-9. Fairly average, but popular, known for, known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timeless timidness, he's very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity toward others and makes him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is considerably the only person whom Sachigo sit fuck sit oh, I've forgotten how to say his name already. Fuck. Set no, I keep wanting to say Sachiko, but that's not uh should Hari? Regularly differs judgment. Naomi! I'm not even a attempt her last name. 16. Student in Kishigari Academy Senior High Class 29. His classmate of. Fuck. Classmate of fucks since. Junior high, sorry. I'm a child. Frequently greets. Fuck. With oh, not you again. She lost her father a few years back. Naomi and her mother now depends on one another for moral support since she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which isn't 
intent to pursue she's intent on pursuing she spends her time studying aiming for acceptance to a medical school my sister's a nurse i respect that seiko shinohari shin yeah shinohari 16 free spirit she almost almost always says or does things that take others by surprise that's why i loved her so much though she's also easily forgiven due to her generally good nature her mother disappeared three years ago three years ago leaving her with her three younger siblings and a working father as such she basically serves as the head of the household Seiko seems to regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Sounds familiar? Yuka. M m fuck. That family. That 14. Fuck. I'm just. Fuck it. Satoshi. Satoshi's little sister. Though she's an 8th grader at uh, Kishigari Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much younger. In the Shida household, Yuka has always been the princess generally getting her way, thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she learns to grow up, often to attempts to act older or braver than she is. This often gets her in tr trouble. Hello, Yumi. Yumi Shinazuki. Suki. Suki. 17. The appointed representative of Kishigari Academy High Class um, 2 9. Often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and revels, revels in hearing them scream. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goodies with her at all times, just in case opportunity presents itself to use them. Truth, however, Yumi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which revels, rivals even Satoshi's in its intensity. To face its truly scary situation, her knees give out, panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear-induced state. Sounds, I kind I kind of do that. Not gonna lie. Um. Okay, this is a name. I'm just like I. I've never known how to pronounce his fucking name, like ever. Joe Oshiki. Yoshiki. Yoshiki. Uh, Kesha Numa. Yoshiki. Okay. Seventeen. Soon in Kashimi, Kiba, Cameron, and blah blah blah. Same thing. Often regards as sarc sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Um, although generally not willing to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Yumi means he'll make an exception now again if either if it either involved with intense drama at home Yushiki currently works part time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone I just realized the one character that's not here is the one with glasses um why is he not here but all right at least i guess he's not that important miss dewey 23 oh my god that's my age yay connections yo okay in 11th grade english teacher at Kishigari Academy Senior High School. Just started the semester after passing her teaching exam in his ear to make an impression. Though not a perfect perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious. But and her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher's assistant. 
during homeroom for class 2-9 and usually seems to have connected with the students there. When she's in charge, all eyes are on her. Always. A long frog, a lone frog soaking in formula sits upon the top shelf eagerly awaits dissection. Interesting little detail that I've never noticed before. And yeah, return to the game. There we go. Come on. I accidentally uh, did something and it glitched out a little bit. If you can see it, like there's a copy of uh, Naomi at the end. And then I activated this event. So yeah, sorry about that. Another earthquake. No. See, like, I don't know why I did that. Is it over? Phew. I've had enough. Let's get out of this room. What? What's wrong? The hallway looks totally different than it did before. Maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse. Yeah, maybe. This fucking music. I don't know what it is. But it's like... Super fucking loud. It's really annoying. Pea bucket? There's yellow fluid. Congealing inside the rest of the bucket. What the heck is this? Pea? You don't say that. Yes, the pea bucket. The infamous pea bucket. I know. Hey, Naomi? What? Hmm. Something wrong with your leg? Oh yeah, I was freaking out and I forgot all about it. I think I must have sprained my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will it, you be okay? I can walk at least. I'm sure it'll heal on its own. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. A loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with you, yes. Yay. Should I go this way? Or this way? Actually, I kind of want to explore the room a little bit more. Heavenly host notice to all facility to students due to the recent kidnappings. Caution is highly recommended during all daily activities. In each instance, the victim is taken quickly and unexpectedly, so please remain alert and aware at all times. There's a door in the back of the room, but just as with the windows, it just is fixed in place like a decoration. Shelves are filled to overflowing with long black hair. Yay. I'm gonna go up. I don't rem I don't remember what exactly to do to get the right ending for this chapter, so I'm just going. Hey Naomi, what about that loose floor where we found? You think it would support our weight? Like a bridge? I don't know, it seems kind of beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. Try it. Loose board has been set in place. Hmm. Two A. Look over there, aren't there those bones? Like, people bones? Yeah! Why is there a dead body here? Let me look. Look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. They really are somebody's bones. 
No! Seiko. You too. Yep. You two are new victims, are you not? A ghost? Who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined just like you. Where is here confined? Where is here? Where is here? Do you know something about this place? This is a cursed multi dimension nexus. Nexus. Multiple planes of existence all piled on top of one another, created by powerful vengeful spirits. Close space, or perhaps close spaces. You and we are, are as well are unlucky victims of their twisted whims. We have all been abducted. Closed spaces. Indeed. It seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everybody else is here too? Are they okay, I wonder? So our friends are in this school too. I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others are pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. They're definitely in this school. Oh my god, that's such great news, Naomi. They're here, we're not alone. Tots. That means Mishida. Mishida's here too. I bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? However, you cannot meet them. They are definitely in this school, but the space they occupy differs, differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space or bringing them into this space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Oh my god. Is there no way out of here then? You said you were brought here by ventral spirits, right? Who are they and why have they taken us? I don't know, given motives of the our captors, nor a means of escaping this hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in the same space. And that alone is a fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one, your chances are, are and your opportunities are much greater than working, much greater when working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. Oh, hello, Sachiko. No. <coughs> Naomi, run. We have to get out of here now. Okay. There was no art. <laughs> yeah, but the hell was that a child spirit? Kind of? Did it kind of glow? Never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? Is there, there were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. So you saw it too, right? Yeah. And you were talking to it. I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It'll be okay, just, you know, march on your head. March with our heads held high or something. 